So we get more of this incredibly satisfying back and forth between Mariah in this butterfly lounge, the large one that they've set up for the masterclass. And there she is with the with the string quartet. And it's more of her, as she's already taught us in a previous lesson, using her voice as an instrument and we get back and forth. And I really could watch this at length i mean i know they've kind of edited it down but i'm like it's just mariah's version of like a jamming session she's just there with yeah. her instrument they are there with theirs and it's back and forth and they are exploring and i just freaking love it My only thought was that thing that I just said to you. Mm -hmm. So I feel like at some point we should go ding 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 You know, like give it, give it that Run DMC moment. Yes, up there. Yes, yes. And she gets excited. That's what's so nice is, so what she's trying to get them to do here is, um, is do a section of the, of Rockbox by Run DMC. So it's the part where she's she's gesturing like wild her imaginary invisible violin and she's doing the ding ding digga digga ding ding digga digga and she's trying to get them to get that exactly and she's so specific with it and so it takes them a little bit of a moment to write what what pitch do we have to do this and then she's giving them the specific rhythms that they have to do it to and she's like no 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 it sort of breaks down here and there's a little pause here and and all of that dun, 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 da, 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 da. Dun dun dun. Yes. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. So I think it goes dun 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 dun. And they work, and you just watch them work at it, and you can see like no one's being rude or anything like that. But you can see this isn't a moment where we're like smiling for the camera and everything's like happy clappy it's like no 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 we're working and like we're gonna go to get it right and they're talking over each other and all of this but when they do when they nail it she's like yes and she gets so excited oh my gosh that would be sick da -da 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 -dum -dum. yeah da -da 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 -da. right i know daniel can write this out in two seconds <laughs> yeah 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 mm -mm. Yeah. So two two B flats on that sixteen. Yeah, yeah. So one two. So wait. Ah, doom 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 Never knew this was gonna be <laughs> and you don't see her often react that way or have those moments if she's on a talk show or if she's you know in a concert or whatever like so it was nice to see her even though she's in this polished lovely well-lit setting still get excited and inspired by music that she's creating absolutely if, if i can credit master the people at masterclass the team there with one thing it is creating an environment that has allowed her to be comfortable to just relax and enjoy creating mm -hmm. i don't get the sense that she feels um uncomfortable she's not watching a monitor to see how she you what know, her image I, i'm sure she's checked it all <laughs> Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't see um, those moments where she's like looking off to the side and looking at like how, how okay, is the cushion in the right place? How's the angle? Do I need to do something with the head? Like she's not doing any of that. She is just there in the room connecting, and there's a few cameras around, and she's just like let go, like whatever. She's genuinely working and genuinely getting happy and excited, as you say. When they and you can kind of like 
see it she she'll she'll use her voice to you know um direct them and then you see the the violinist in particular you know it's often between the violinist and mariah back and forth back and forth you're like mm. and i'm analyzing is what i just heard on the violin quite what mariah just hummed uh or sang like no not quite and then daniel maybe steps in and then it all comes together like yeah that was it and i'm excited with her because they've just nailed what? it and I, it's just so so satisfying and i'm like this is mariah this is the master class this is it she's mm -hmm. genuinely using her voice and the live musicians to create and this is the part of the process that is magical to see and i think it it was a real real treat and she doesn't care how her voice sounds which is really nice you know and i think uh, you know when you're singing the more relaxed you are the better you're gonna sound and like sometimes her voice like cuts out or breaks or she like you say she doesn't kind of she'll sing something and then they won't quite match it and it's just remembering that the voice is just as much an instrument as a violin is so there's moments where that that lead female violin player is like oh no she's finding the note finding the note squeak 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 oh she's got it and that's what mariah does with her voice um so it's nice it's like yeah she doesn't have to be polished and perfect all the time like you know, and, and sometimes instruments don't like work the way you want them to all the time. We just do it again. Like it's not a big deal. It's not as big of a deal as I think a lot of the lambs make it out to be. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the way it's, her it's voice. It's a live works. performance. It is, you know, uh, I, I, I think it's, I keep coming back to like, we keep saying it because it, it's how it's been presented. You know, it, she's using her voice as an instrument and, mm -hmm. and I just keep, thinking about it and i keep re-watching these these lessons i'm like it is there she is legitimately going back and forth um and using her, her voice as an instrument same as the violinist is using her violin as her instrument so lesson four writing with samples does end with something i think if i'm remembering uh notes between us okay just seeing your reaction your facial mm -hmm. reaction this i'm correct this is something that really really satisfied you so i'm gonna let you walk us through this moment because for me i was like oh this is a cute moment but i feel like you josh really really got life from the end of this lesson well you know she she often talks about the same songs and even you know even lamb favorites she'll talk about you know we've heard about underneath the stars a lot and that's great and i love that we've heard about baby doll we've even heard about the roof um we haven't heard about you got me for a minute um, and when she's talking about, um, you know, writing with samples, she's saying in this section that you can actually sample your own voice and that's a good way to start. And so she uses You Got Me as a reference because in that song that, you know, you got me, that part, but it's all squeaky and high on the recording. She's like, well, that was my voice. That was what the producer Just Blaze um, was doing at the time and was famous for at the time. There might be something where we want to create something that sounds like a loop, like, with Just Blaze, I was working on the song You Got Me. And, you know, this is like at the height of the Just Blaze moment. And I've, I've always, um, you know, I really loved his, his music. And we did this song called You Got Me. And I just was singing, you know you got me, right? And then we sped it up like really high. That's why I'm started, I'm singing it higher, but that's not how we did it. I sang it medium. And then that was his thing. That was his thing, was doing those very, very, like, squeaky kind of sounds and, and creating, like, a new beat out of it. And just me personally, um, you know, I love Charm Bracelet. We all love Charm Bracelet. But I think we all agree that maybe the singles weren't necessarily the, the best choices for that album, perhaps. You Got Me, for me, I think could have been the second single after through the rain I, I, loads of people will probably disagree i just Over really the one we needed to have oh, no, 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 no. the one is the one obviously <laughs> um but you got me could have been a single i love the i love the winnie the pooh reference in the rap i just i love the like summery vibe of it it reminds me of like janet jackson's demeter joe album like that kind of like tropical like you know so i the fact that she referenced that song there because it's one of my personal favorites um, was really, really nice. And she gives Monroe, her daughter, a little shout out as well. Um, because Monroe was like, who's singing that little high part? 
And Mariah was like, well, it's me. And apparently Mariah was like, I knew it. I knew it was you. And so it's, it's a cute moment to end the episode on for sure.